here's my bunnies again, they're having their tea, which I just picked from Randall Garden. That's Jasmine on the left and Magic on the right. That's, that's I put my dog moaning that they're getting attention. She's such a jelly belly. Oh, she's just barking at some random thing now. Thank you, darling. Shush, 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 shush. Uh, uh, shush. Messing up daddy's vlog. Yeah. Good girl. There's a good girl. I thought I'd do a, a security detail for you. Um, Magic is a quite a bit of a digger, as you can see. We've got uh, bits covered up here. Shush. We've got a fence here to stop them getting in the border because there's bulbs there which they'll eat and they'll just dig it all up as well. So we've got that along there. Uh, got slabs here covering up um, holes he's dug. <laughs> there's mainly magic. He has a whale of a time doing it. We wish we could let him just do it whenever he wanted but it kind of messes the garden up. So we've got them all the way along here. There's a lot of trips to B&Q and that sort of thing. Uh, and over here, yeah, there's more slabs around here. He still does do a bit of digging, and you know we let him dig for a little while as long as he doesn't mess it up too much. So we like him to, he just you know enjoys it. He, don't you? I'm talking about you. Yeah. They even do this funny thing where they push the dirt along with their paws, and then they seem really pleased about it. That's cute, isn't it? Weird, Daddy. What are you talking about? It's okay. Don't worry. Need dinner. And down here I've got uh, got chicken wire. My wife suggested for anyone who's doing it for the first time that they could lay down some chicken wire and then like turf over the top of it. As our rabbits are, they'd probably rip the turf up to shreds. But um, and this chicken wire has worked very well. More uh, yeah, more slabs and various things around here, and uh, the sand pit. The sand pit's good because it gives them somewhere they can dig as much as they want and roll around in. They love that. Uh, they come and lie over here quite a bit. They don't dig so much around here. I haven't had too much of a problem with that. In fact, it just keeps sort of covering the bits up as he deals with them. Yeah, and this is their shed. This is a new uh, door that my father-in-law very kindly made for us. He's a practical sort. Yeah. So now that we can have this open, um, so they can't just run in and eat all the hay and everything, which obviously they would do. Um, but then it stops it getting too hot because the air can get in there. Yeah, these are hanging bushes, that baskets, this nasturtiums. I don't know, I remember that. I don't know fuck all about gardening. And uh, that's mint and strawberry, I think. Up oh, and over there is... <coughs> um, and this one over here is... Um, uh, parsley and some other stuff. The important thing is they can eat it when they like it. And we've got a load of stuff here that's uh, mainly grown from bird seed that has fallen to the ground and grown into things which they can eat. That's nice isn't it little bunnies eh? Yeah. Wanna say hi to all my friends Jasmine? Hee hee. <laughs> Hello darling. Hello. <laughs> well we'll settle down now. She actually likes them, I think she wants to play with them, but the problem is uh, her idea of play is uh, would probably involve ripping him to death even if she didn't mean to because she's so rambunctious and over the top. My little bunnies. Yeah. Yeah, the funny thing about rabbits is they've got to keep eating almost 24 hours a day. They've got to have some um, access to food or else they can get gut stasis, which is a very serious condition. So it sounds like a ridiculous excuse, doesn't it? Got to have food all the time, but 
it's actually true. So we always make sure they've got a supply of hay the whole time. Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> they like getting under that lid sometimes. We call it hero in a half shell. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you later.